If you want a gorgeous apartment with top of the line everything, you better not be sleeping on Brooklyn. Because today we're seeing a gorgeous apartment in a brand new construction in Greenpoint, just 30 minutes away from Manhattan without a Manhattan price tag. But is it worth it? Are you gonna love it or hate it? Only one way to find out. Here we are in Green Point, and to get here, we took the G train, which was not great. In fact, it was close to god awful. I think the G is like the worst train in the system, even though it only took 30 minutes to get here. I just hated taking it. But there's the train and the apartment building is right there. And I wouldn't mind waiting for the train when it's that close. And you know what else is close? Local coffee. Is everything okay? Either way, have a coffee. Exceptional marketing. Next to that, there's a full grocery store. Not one of those fake grocery stores you'll find at a deli. We're definitely not in Manhattan, but that's not a bad thing at all. In fact, this kind of feels like a town that you'd visit outside of the city entirely. There's a Polish bakery. Let's check out the treats in the window. How does this stuff look? Really good. Go in there and you might get some cavities. Across from that, you've got local pizza, which is next to this local Mexican place. You've also got a local market next to a meat market. Why would you buy cold cuts at the supermarket when you could come here? Only if you can't cook and you have no idea where to shop. Hey, my husband loves you, really. Cool, thank you. And this neighborhood comes with friendly neighbors. Liquor store, someone's gonna be excited about that. At least they're honest about what their products may do to you. The Jungle Cafe. It says it's a vegan place. Coffee, avocado salad, I'll never eat meat again. But unfortunately, the New World Order has discovered that avocado toast is popular and therefore you're allowed to have it because the only way they know that they can maintain their hold on your mind is by giving you little snippets of what you think you want. Ooh, there's a local fruit market. You might live for an extra five minutes if you eat the food here. Or over here, there's another one across the street. I wonder if this place and this place are owned by the same people. That would be smart business. Over here, you can buy kitchen gadgets for your new apartment. I don't know what some of this stuff is. That toaster must be used for making miniature pizzas. Over here, there's another coffee place. Across the street, you've got a little Polish restaurant. See, my problem is I would get this, and after eating that, I would get something like that and have a heart attack. But it looks so good, that might not be a bad way to go. For Nino, the art and science of pizza. See, that's where chain places like Domino's are wrong. They've got the science down, it's all chemicals, but they don't have the art. I bet the calzones are amazing. I could spend all day out here on the street just pointing things out there so much, but I think at this point we know that this is a good neighborhood. Let's go check out the apartment. This place is super nice. Check out this view facing east. We're on the eighth floor. And it looks like this is actually a corner unit for $2,300, that's insane. Also, this building is brand new. You've got the elevator or you could take the stairs. Since we're on the eighth floor, you're gonna want the elevator. There's also a roof deck. Wow, the view up here is no joke. Just look at that view of lower Manhattan. And you can see the top of the Chrysler building. That is one of the best views of Manhattan you could ask for. Look at these guys on their roof. Wonder what they're doing. You can also see the rest of Greenpoint. That's pretty sweet. Just, I don't know if you're gonna get a hammock up here, but if the sun's too much for you, just crouch behind one of these. Check this out, there's laundry. Got a couple machines. You don't have to leave to clean your stuff. In New York, that's a feature. There's also a bicycle room, which I can't open, which means your bike won't get stolen stolen if you put it there. Also, this isn't finished yet, but this is gonna be a gym. You got some TVs, you've got floor space, and before it becomes a gym, if you wanna do mixed martial arts or something safer like yoga, I don't think that would be a bad idea. Does this building have an underground fight club? The first rule of that would be not to talk about it. This is Joseph, the listing agent, by the way. If you wanna rent anything here, I'll put his information below. Guys, look what Joseph did. He's a kind person with a twisted sense of humor. He knew you would find that funny. 
Now we're gonna check this place out so that you can see what it would be like to live here. If you have fun watching, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. I make a whole bunch of these every single week and I don't want you to miss one. The layout here is great. There's the front door, there's your closet. This is not the only closet, but look at how much space you've got. That's fantastic. There's also video intercom. If you've got a stalker, you'll be able to see him like that guy. Who was that? That could have been bad. Now over here is the bedroom and this is our living space. This area measures 12 feet 2 inches by 7 feet 10 inches. Put your couch right here, right there, face in that direction, and then mount your entertainment center on the wall and have everything in this spot. And right here, you've got a spot to hang out and watch movies, if that view doesn't distract you. I didn't include any of this space by the kitchen, but you could totally get a table against the wall and also have a spot to eat dinner or breakfast if you don't eat dinner. But this kitchen is awesome. You're definitely going to use it. Look at all these nice appliances. There's a five burner oven. Since we're not in Manhattan, it has an extra burner. You've also got a nice large microwave. There's a full size fridge. There's a dishwasher. And best of all, there's a sprayer for the sink. Metal too, not plastic. The sink's also nice and deep. And look at all this counter space. Stupid things like a Keurig can be plugged in over here, but you don't need one of those. Just do drip coffee. It's cheaper, it's less mess, and it doesn't take up space on your kitchen counter. I was told that this is for the Bluetooth sound system. There are speakers in the apartment and you can hook your phone up to that and play music everywhere, which means you don't have to waste your money on an Amazon Echo. This bedroom is an absolute home run. Look at this view. You can see the Empire State Building right there. And the room itself measures nine feet, seven inches by 14 feet, three inches. You could get a queen size bed in here, no problem. Best spot's gonna be over there because here's where your closet is. Let's check this thing out. Oh, geez. This is huge. This could be its own apartment. You could throw a mattress on the floor and rent this out on Airbnb. I can't believe how much storage this is. This is fantastic. Although the only way that would work out would be if you had no stuff. Great closet. The bathroom is incredible. It doesn't have a medicine cabinet, but look at this mirror. If you press this button on the mirror, something happens. My guess is that it heats up so that when you take a bath or a shower, it doesn't steam over. At least that's what I think this does. Storage here is actually really good. There's this massive drawer beneath where the sink is. And since this is a big bathroom, it's easy to climb in and out of the bathtub without getting injured. Your insurance company, they'll be happy about that. Definitely like the high-end feel of this, that's for sure. And if you want a premium place without a premium price, talk to Joseph. His information's in the video description. And then pick an apartment tour right here and I'll see you in the next video.